All right, welcome to the NLDS between the Cincinnati Reds and the St. Louis Cardinals. In the regular season, the St. Louis Cardinals roared to a 103 win season. Insane stuff. They ended up winning the National League Central, getting the number two seed in the National League playoffs. And now here they are taking on the 90 win Cincinnati Reds. If you missed the wild card round, well, go check it out. The Reds went in to Citizens Bank Park into Philadelphia and ended up winning back to back against the Phils to now be in this spot against the Cardinals here in the NLDS. On the mound tonight for Cincinnati will be the big lefty and Brandon Williamson. We still have not gotten clearance just yet on Max Scherzer. So Scherzer's still waiting to get medical clearance, but the Cardinals and the Reds, two NL Central teams, will go at it for a chance at the NLCS. On the other side of the bracket in the National League, it will be the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. So three out of the last four here in the National League are from the NL Central. And folks, if you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. Just got done watching the Reds and the Nationals. I will actually be in Cincinnati for the games on the weekend, but my goodness, oh, today's game. I mean, good for the Reds, right? It's kind of what happened honestly in our opening day video here on the channel but I'm a Nationals fan and it, it was atrocious my goodness but hey Eddie Rosario hit a two-run bomb and that's about all I can be happy about okay on to this game Steven Matz pitching tonight here in game number one 3.5 ERA in the regular season and you know again the offensive production you get out of this Reds team TJ Friedel right away hits that one the opposite way it will be a leadoff single Matt McLean who's gonna be dealing with injuries all season long now in real life he's probably gonna be out for most of the season in real life grounds out in that double play it's going to be two gone now for jmer candelario on the full count jmer takes one deep left field that ball's got some carry it's out of here jmer candelario gets the reds on top just like that one nothing here in game number one 401 feet for candy his second of the playoffs again it gets the reds on top you wish you could add more base runners for that, but of course, a double play, nothing you can do about it. J-Mayor Candelario, though, having a huge season for Cincinnati, gonna put the Viking helmet on as well. One, nothing for the Reds. J.D. Martinez comes up on the one-two pitch and he's gonna put one on the ground. That should be the third out of the top of the first. And by the way, the, the Viking animation barely pops up. That's why this is the first time I've actually shown it. It's just, it never pops up. I don't know why I never get it. Anyways, Brandon Williamson making the start tonight, 4.07 ERA in the regular season. He exceeded really all expectations, I would say, and he's gonna be pitching in game number one of the NLDS. He gets Tommy Edmond to fly out in to left field. Now up Alfonso Rivas, and he'll strike out looking fastball down and in by Brandon Williamson. Lars Newtbar now on the 2-2 pitch, puts one to left center field. That ball is gonna get down. It's gonna be extra bases for Newtbar. He'll be on second base here with two outs. Big spot, lefty-lefty matchup for Nolan Gorman. Can the Cardinals draw even here in the first inning? They will not be able to. Stuart Fairchild playing center field tonight for Cincinnati will put away Gorman. To the top of the second, Spencer Steer had a big day in real life on opening day. He'll ground out though too short and over to one Tommy Edmond, the all-star of the season for the first out the inning, but here comes Nolevi Marte. Again, served to suspension at the beginning of the season, and Marte's gonna line one into left field. That ball is going to be down, and it will be a double for him. Ellie De La Cruz now on that sinker. He'll take it in to center, but that ball is going to be caught by Dylan Carlson. We'll try to tag Marte, and we'll get there. So another runner to third base with two outs for the eight spot, Tyler Stevenson, and Stevenson will strike out on that Steven Matz serve. Circle change. Let's go to the bottom half of the second inning. Wilson Contreras, the catcher first, lines one, but straight to the candy man, J. Mayor Candelario. One gone, Dylan Carlson. That's a nice piece of hitting right there. Carlson in to right field. It's a one out single. Now to the plate, the all star, Nolan Arenado. Don't know why he's in the seventh spot. That ball's going to carry, but TJ Friedel is out there. That'll be two gone in the inning for number eight, Willie Adamez in the one two. And Adamez will line one left field. That ball's going to get down, and Carlson's got wheels. Can he take it first to home? Will he even try? He's going to on the arm of Ellie Taylor Cruz. That makes no sense. He's out by a whole country mile. I, I don't know why you'd send him there. 
But okay, let's move on to the top of the third. Stuart Fairchild up first here for Cincinnati. Still this one nothing lead. Fairchild, it's gonna hit that one way over the head of the center fielder and Dylan Carlson. Fairchild looking for three and just like how Dylan Carlson got sent to home. I don't know why Stuart Fairchild went to third. That's my mistake. TJ Friedel comes up with one out. Could have a base runner on second here, but Friedel flies out in to center field. So a quick two outs for Steven Matz, maybe in an unconventional way, but still outs are outs. And he's going to get Matt McClain to fly out into center field to Dylan Carlson. Bottom half of the third, Jordan Walker, the, the former highly touted prospect for St. Louis, will strike out in a circle change away. Tommy Edmond on the 2-1 pitch puts one in to right field. Matt McLean is under it, and Brandon Williamson has done a pretty good job so far in this game. Again, the Cardinals threatened a little bit in the last inning, but if we can get Alfonso Rivas out here, we'd be out of three, but still... Rivas is going to get that one over the head of Spencer Steer. So the third inning continues. Lars Newbar is going to walk. First and second, two outs for Nolan Gorman on the 1-1 one -one pitch. Gorman slaps one into left field. And okay, TJ Friedel, for some reason, doesn't lock onto the baseball. And that is going to be a two RBI double for Nolan Gorman. So as soon as we praise Brandon Williamson, the NL Central champions start to take over this game. Wilson Contreras puts one on the ground. That will be the third out of the inning. But the Cardinals have taken the lead here in game number one of the NLDS. Jamie Candelario homered in his last one. He's going to do it again. Oh, man. Two ABs, two homers for Jamie Candelario. Candy makes it 2-2, two to two, his third of the postseason, 440 feet, three home runs in three games for the switch hitting first baseman, Jamer Candelario, and single-handedly, he's put up the only two runs in this game so far for the Cincinnati Reds. All right, J.D. Martinez now comes up back in a tie ball game. He's going to hit one hard, but straight to the all-star Tommy Edmond at short. One out, Spencer Steer. You know, he dominates left-handed pitching, but right there, he's just going to ground one. That will be the second out of the inning six spot up. And that means no Levy Marte, one, two, pitch, and Marte strikes out. But the Reds have tied this game up on it to the bottom of the fourth. Dylan Carlson up first for St. Louis routine ground ball to Nolevi Marte. One gone at Nolan Arenado on the one-two pitch. Barely gets a hold of that one. It's going to go right to Jamer Candelario. Two up, two down. Eight spot up. The former Tampa Bay Ray and Willie Adamez is going to pull one into left field. TJ Friedel, though, can't get to that one in time. It's going to drop in front of him. It's going to be a two-out base knock for St. Louis, extending the inning, but luckily the inning ends here. Jordan Walker is going to ground out. We go to the top of the fifth. Ellie De La Cruz leads things off for Cincinnati. He's 0 for 1. He will be 0 for 2 as he grounds out to short. He's going to attempt the slide into first base, but nothing much going on right there. One gone at four. Tyler Stevenson, another ground ball hit to Tommy Edmond. A lot of action going his way. Two gone in the inning. Stuart Fairchild hit a double over the head of Dylan Carlson in his last A.B. And this time, he's just going to drop one into left field. Like I've said many times before this season, I've been so impressed with Stuart Fairchild, and I love the swing as well. Fairchild, again, hits it over your head, one AB. The next one just drops it in the left in, shallow, uh, in the shallow outfield. But again, nothing going on for the Reds in that inning with TJ Friedel um, ending the inning with that ground out. One gone after the flyout right there of Tommy Edmond. Alfonso Rivas in the two spot hits one on the ground to Ellie De La Cruz. De La Cruz gets to show off the arm right there. Two gone for Lars Newtbar on the 2 1 pitch. Newtbar into right center. Can Matt McLean get there? He's on his horse and he can't. It drops right in front of McLean. That's a play you really want to make right there. But it will be a two out double for St. Louis, keeping the inning alive for Nolan Gorman. He puts one up the middle. That ball's going to get through. Here comes the runner to the plate, Stuart Fairchild, with the throw. It's a great throw, but not in time. 3 2 lead now for the Cardinals. Huge hit by their second baseman, Nolan Gorman. It puts the cards on top, and Wilson Contreras will not get one to drop into right field. But still, it is a 3-2 lead now for the St. Louis Cardinals. Andrew Nitridge coming into pitch for St. Louis. 2.51 ERA in the regular season for him. That ball is going to just drop in left field. Not a great swing by Matt McLean, but is going to get down. He'll be on first for Jamer Candelario. And Candy is 3-for-3. Three three. Two home runs and a single. They'll be on first and second with no outs. We maybe could have sent McLean there, but we're going to play it here with J.D. Martinez, and he strikes out. One gone for Spencer Steer on the one-two. That's not what you want in that spot, man. Infield fly rule off the bat of Steer. Just like that, two gone to Levy Marte trying to keep the inning alive. He takes a bad hack at a slider. You had first and second with no outs, and you get nothing. 
Emilio Pagan is the first guy to come out the pen tonight for Cincinnati. He's pitched one game so far in the postseason. He did not give up a run. Dylan Carlson will start off this bottom of the sixth by flying out into left field. TJ Friedel charging in to make the out. Now up Nolan Arenado, and Arenado hits one to center field. Fairchild going to try to dive and get it but it's gonna drop right in front of him. It gets away. The Cardinals are going to be on with likely a triple here out of Nolan Arenado. Yeah, the Reds taking some chances in the outfield, just not paying off just yet. Arenado's on with a one-out triple with his 14 speed. Willie Adamez, though, can't bring him in. Strikes out on a high splitter. Jordan Walker on the one-two. He's gonna hit one hard. Deep center field. Stuart Fairchild going back to the warning track to the wall. Oh, it's off the glove but it drops. Jordan Walker out of the nine spot produces a double and sends this game to a two run lead for St. Louis. I don't know why he's trying to take third right there and we're gonna throw him out. But again, the Cardinals have made this a two run advantage for them. Jojo Romero pitching now for St. Louis. 3.45 ERA in the regular season for the lefty. Ellie De La Cruz comes up to the plate first for Cincinnati and nothing going on for him. One out, Tyler Stevenson, the catcher, comes up just too early on a slider. And it seems like the Cardinals pitching staff has really gotten the Reds figured out right now. Fairchild takes strike three. The Reds have six more outs to work with here in game number one. The lefty now comes in, Gregory Soto, to pitch the bottom half of the seventh inning. Pitch one inning in Philadelphia, did pretty well. He'll get Tommy Edmond looking on the circle change to start off his outing. Alfonso Rivas now in the 2-2, got him again. 101 on the gun, staring at strike three. Lars Newbar on the 1-2 pitch, and Soto strikes out the side. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better out of him. Here comes Giovanni Gallegos. 3.99 ERA in the regular season. Again, the Cardinals using a lot of guys in their bullpen, but it is solid. TJ Frieda, though, comes up on the 2-1, and oh, man, that ball just hangs. It hung for forever for Dylan Carlson. It'll be the first out the inning. Matt McClain, I don't think, has enough carry here. He does not. Two gone. The batter now, Jamer Candelario on the 2-2. Two -two. Did Candy do it again? He's 3-for-3 three three with two homers so far. Deep right center field. That ball is out of here. It is a towering home run for Javier Candelario. 399 feet for the switch hitter, his fourth of the playoffs, and he's hit three in one game. And yet the Reds are losing three to four because our only offense has come from him. JD Martinez though, going to try to help. He'll be on with a two out single. And now the tying runs at first, the go ahead run is to the plate. It's Spencer Steer against the lefty Zach Thompson. Steer though just flies out in the left field. The Reds have gotten one closer, but they're still down 4-3. TJ Antone comes out to pitch the bottom of the eighth inning, just trying to keep this at a one run deficit. Nolan Gorman gonna ground out to Spencer Steer, so one second baseman will ground out to another. One out for the catcher, Wilson Contreras, swing and a miss, slider away by TJ Antone. Dylan Carlson now up on the one-two pitch, puts one on the ground right to Nolevi Marte. All right, the Reds need one here in the top of the ninth. Here comes the closer for St. Louis. Not an incredible year for Ryan Helsley, but he comes out to pitch. He'll see Nolevi Marte first, and Marte overextends on a slider, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now up the seven spot, Ellie De La Cruz is 0 for three. Should have taken there, but 102 on the high heat gets him. And instead of Tyler Stevenson, I will bring in Will Benson to pinch hit. Benson on a one-two offering, swings right through a slider, tries to check to no avail. And the St. Louis Cardinals win game number one here of this National League Division Series. So the Reds taste defeat for the first time here in October. The Cardinals will win game number one, as of course we'll be back for game number two tomorrow here at Bush Stadium. But I mean, just need more all around uh, offensive production out the team. Jamie Candelario did it, li literally did it all today. We had 10 hits three runs off of those 10 hits. But again, four of those were for Jamer Candelario. Three of those four hits were home runs. All three of those, again, were the only runs scored and the only runs driven in. All came from one guy, Jamer Candelario. Need more help overall if you're gonna beat this NL Central winning St. Louis Cardinals team that happened to win 103 games in the regular season. So folks, thank you for watching episode number 14 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. If you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Again, thanks again for watching and mamba.